Yeah. Yes, stop you. You, if you're guilty of all this thing, stop it. If you are guilty of the negative bashing of yourself, stop it. Stop it. Here, I know this channel is about hair, but it's also about self growth, flourishing in every aspect of your life. If your hair is not thick, do not hit yourself. If your hair is not soft like Lucy, don't hit yourself. If your hair is not going as fast as Hannah, do not hit yourself. Because we all was given something uniquely about us. You cannot change it, so learn to live with it. We need to stop the self-hate. Nobody is going to accept you, everything that comes with you, if you can't accept yourself. And what it comes with. As Look, a hairdresser, <sighs> as a hairdresser, we have been hearing this for so long. Especially in this Australia. I'm not talking about all anywhere else, but what I have come to experience in Australia. These are the things that African women complain about the most they complain about all these things and I have never heard one person say oh how can I achieve that yes I know that I have this problem but how can I achieve that what's the solution to my problem but I have always heard all these things that I have just put back it needs to stop. When there's a problem, when there's a problem, there's always a solution. That's what we hairdressers are here for. We do the background studies, we do the experimentation so that we give more knowledge so that when you come into our chair, we feel confident enough to tell you things to do. Well, what we say from the beginning work, some people will work for them, but Everything in life is all about experimental experience as as, as, as um, experimenting on things and all of that. But when the negativity is too much and you're not focusing on how to get a solution, everyone kind of lose interest in the dreams and the hope that they have. I love hairdressing, but there are times when the self hate is too much that I just get so mad and angry. I'm like, why is it that we? As women, as human beings, as fellow Africans, we are not able to accept ourselves. And this comes from so many things. 50% we are to blame and 50% we are not to be blamed. You understand? I understand. I understand we are going through this. I understand some of us here is not as much as we want it to be. I understand the perfect idea of what we want is not what we are born with but you are giving it for a reason you look at the next person beside you and, and say i want that but you can't have it you shave your hair you come back it's the same density you can try and create get something to give you the the how do you call it, the cover up but that doesn't mean that when you uh, remove that your hair is going to be the same what you are giving by dna dna that's what you're going to have if your hair doesn't grow, if you don't, you have done everything you can, but it's not growing. Then sometimes we just kind of lost it and accept it. If you have done everything, you are search and do everything, and you have done the right thing, it's not to accept the way it is. If you are not doing anything, then start doing something. But it's heartbreaking when you come into a into a spot and everyone has a very negative thing of their hair and I don't blame them because even a book I was reading recently the book is referring to our hair as woolly on tame and all of that so that sort of negativity is literally snitched into our head and all of that why why is it like that why can't we just accept the things that we have 
accept it, live with it, love it, and move on with life. Life would be so much better if we can just realize that what is in our plate, it was what meant for us. What is on your head, that's what you could handle, that's what was given to you. You cannot handle anything else. You can want my hair, you can want someone's hair thinner and all of that. But what is yours is given to you because that's what you can handle. Stop comparing yourself. Stop looking at the next person. Stop it and just focus directly on you. How can you improve yourself? How can you love yourself? How can you grow? Long hair is not the thing. Thick hair is not the thing. Healthy hair. It's the same with the human, your body. If you are not healthy, as skinny as you can be, it's detrimental to your life. It goes with everything. We need to stop this. We need to start self-accepting ourselves. Look in the mirror and say, I am who I am. I am beautiful and I am unique. Yes, I came into the world different. Yes, I don't look like the next person beside me, but I am uniquely me. I am me. We've all gone through that stage. I've gone through that self-hate stage. But it takes that weird, that, that knock on your head and be like, wait, hold on. I can't change this. I can enhance it. I can help it. But if it's not working, I can't. I can want to I can try to be size eight, but if I'm not size eight, why should I hit what stage I'm in? And that's the same. I can't have some more head. Because this is what I was born with. I can't change it. So, women, ladies, ever, please start to motivate yourself. Because that also, as uh, if you're a mother as well, how you see yourself and how you perceive yourself, how you carry yourself, that's how your children will follow you. Because I've seen a lot of kids who have so much low self-esteem because what? Their parents also has low self-esteem. Their parents do not wear their hair. They're like, oh, you can't wear your hair like this when they are trying to go natural. Like, oh, your hair now is tough. You need to relax it and all of that. No. If the child want to be uh, natural, let them be natural. If they want to be relaxed, teach them the, 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 the procedure in the right way that they can maintain their hair so they don't break. And all of that. Ladies, we are unique in our own individual way. Accept it, live it, and love it. Remember, you do not choose to be different but you can be unique. Peace.